one of the first actors and even pioneers of the western genre. He made cowboys look cool and even used real life experiences in his films. A hero to many before and even during the Great Depression. And even many stars looked up to him in Hollywood even till today. This is Tom Mix and this is his basic biography. Early life. Thomas Herzeki Mix was born in Pennsylvania, USA on the 6th of January 1880. His father was Edwin Mix, a stable master, and his mother uh, joined alongside with uh, him, and her name was Elizabeth Hastand. Thomas was able to work in various jobs and even be a stable hand at the time of his young, early career. He even looked off the cattle as part of his job as a stable hand. He sometimes worked as a showman due to his love of riding and even taking care of horses whilst being a stable hand for various ranches and farms uh, due to his early life. Thomas Mix was able to enlist in the United States Army, serving in the Spanish-American War and taking part in the Mexican Revolution around the late 1800s to the early 1900s, where both wars were able to take place. After the wars were finished. Tom was still looking for work and was able to work odd jobs here and there to make ends meet. However, he managed to love working on rodeos and even becoming a showman. With all his training of working with horses and being a showman, he was able to be benefited by working as a showman in the long run leaving his formal education which actually didn't help him that much and even finishing high school to pursue a career in rodeo. This was able to lead him into future Hollywood roles and even worked in Wild West shows in the early 1900s. But in the 1910s and even in the 1900s he was able to help Theodore Roosevelt at the time he was the president, Theodore Roosevelt, during his inauguration parade and even working as a Hollywood act actor. Pioneer of westerns, Tom Mix managed to make it into Hollywood but it would be longer than any actor or actress at the time. This was due to his arts of being a cowboy and working with horses throughout his life. Meant that he could only work in western genre roles of films and even TV series. He managed to sign a deal with Selig Polyscope Company and make small appearances in film throughout the 1910s due to being a st starter of the western genre and even allowing other actors to pioneer the genre to follow suit. He was able to star in his first film called The Cowboy Millionaire, and it was a silent film that could be used to launch his acting career as a legitimate cowboy and even action star of that particular era. Tom Mix had only started in a small few uh, small roles in the 1909 and to 1910s. He would dominate the silver screen in the coming years by allowing audiences to watch his films and even get to grips of the western genre which actually was one of the biggest genres at the time. Having more actors and actresses taking part in his film roles he was able to reenact days of the old west and even launch a concept of heroes and villains on the big screen so people can cheer and even boo for their favorite characters. During the height of World War I from 1910 to 1917, Tom Mix had made so many movies, at least 10 to 20 films each year, due to his expansion and even his experience as being a Western star, and even becoming a headlining actor for the Western genre, and even making some guest appearances and allowing a longer time in in his movies than his usual short movies which he was starred and even signed picture deals with other 
um, companies at the time, sometime during the 1920s and even 1930s. Tom Mix used to use his own voice showing and even able to show his action styles in silent films and even in radio, sometimes having the time to pose and present posters to audiences based on his works of art and even his works in the Hollywood film industry, with his adoring fans knowing who he is. He was actually a superstar in Hollywood and an actor to be a first-hand cowboy on the silver screen. Hollywood Cowboy Hollywood made Tom Mix a star and an icon due to his style of acting and making characters look exactly like the people in the Old West. Even personifying himself as a real-life cowboy and even felt like living in the Old West in the long time and even coming back from the Old West to the modern era of the 1900s. He even was able to be remembered in his western genres rather than his other um, genre, uh, genre kind of roles as an actor. Yet the 1900s was not that lenient on him uh, due to the great train robbery that came years before his acting career, which made them more of the actors and even made the actors of the film create the genre before he would. Yet, Tom Mix was able to be a living legend at this point of time, due to his style and charisma, and even considered a Hollywood action star that worked on various films from the 1910s to the 1920s. 20s. However, just before the 1920s, Tom Mix signed another contract, but this time he spent time with Fox Film Corporation, which increased his salary and increased his fame by working with new stars of Hollywood. He was able to spend some time with directors and even becoming a director and producer with his experience of a Hollywood actor and even working with horses and sometimes spending um, money and even helping productions for new movies. As in 1921, the film Queen of Sheba, Tom Mix managed to supervise and even demonstrate his showmanship of riding horses and racing them in film. Whilst working on other films, Tom Mix worked with radio productions, leading his voice and even showing off his skills within the radio studios, based on his radio experience and even helping out radio presenters showed the man himself behind closed doors. Personal life and final years. Tom Mix was married five times during his lifetime. His first wife was Grace I. Alien, with the relationship lasting from 1902 to 1903. Second wife was Kitty Jewel Perrin. Their relationship lasted from 1905 to 1906. Third wife was Olivia Strokes, or Stokes, from 1909 to 1917, and fourth wife was Victoria Ford, eh, from 1918 to 1932. His final wife was Mabel Hubble Ward, and their relationship lasted from 1932 to 1940. He had two children by the names of Ruth Mix and Thomasina Mix. Later on in his career, Tom Mix was able to keep his persona as a real-life cowboy until his death. He won so many awards uh, during his time as an actor and even starred in at least 300 plus films during the whole expansion of his career, meaning that he could star in any production and starred in very high-priced movies. Tom Mix had even travelled outside of the United States and even had time to work on productions outside the United States during the 1930s. And even Tom Mix was able to star in other movies instead of westerns and even work with production companies that were not even part of Hollywood studios at the time. He even performed in circuses and noted by the state officials to be a hero and be stated in Hollywood 
um, to be a hero as well. His last Hollywood performance was the film serial called The Miracle Rider in 1935. Legacy of a Cowboy Tom Mix passed away on 12th of October 1940 due to a driving accident or a traffic collision which resulted in him breaking his neck and killing him instantly. He was 60 years old at the time and he was remembered for being a cowboy and a real life hero. After his death, he was still remembered for his films and even his charm. Movies were still playing his films throughout the 1940s and even to the 1950s. Most of the films were made or were lost and just or destroyed at, after those times. Many actors of old Hollywood remember Tom Mix as being their idol and even helping them become actors in the Western genre. Actors such as Wayne, sorry, John Wayne, James Stewart, uh, jo- and even President or former President Ronald Reagan have cited him as being their heroes. Even even living legend Clint Eastwood has even stated that it was him, Tom Mix, that helped him become a star. Tom Mix was even recognised um, with the longest living legacy of film and television and even um, western kind of genre roles. And nowadays, if you see, most of Tom Mix's influences are now used in film television, videos, comic books, and even literature. He was given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and even given some other accolades due to his achievements and even many performances. Even these um, accolades are now available in museums and even other halls of fames that followed suit. Now, thanks for watching. Now, and... This is actually one of my uh, other videos in 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 bi- basic biography, and I'm looking to uh, expand my channel. So please subscribe and watch for more videos. Thank you for watching.